All right, so we are here, uh, and you know, part of our personalities are being humble, but here we're here with a, a living legend, war hero, General Jack Singlob. Um, I know it's it's hard to hear, but you you are, <laughs> sir. You know, uh, that's that's the nature of the beast. You know, maybe one day someone will be talking about me like that. Uh, I can only I can only hope. But uh, veteran of World War II, like every pretty much every living engagement from World War II to Vietnam. Korea and Vietnam. Korea, yeah. Vietnam, um, OSS. Right. Uh, a bunch of, I mean, he's a forefather of U.S. special operations and, and covert clandestine operations. And how old are you, sir? 70? 94. 94? I was going to yeah. say 34. I thought you were younger than me. <laughs> but he's out here shooting with us today. So imagine, uh, imagine what this man has seen. And it's an absolute honor for me to be out here with him. So we're out here shooting robots. Aim in and, and fire a couple of rounds, get a, get a feel for the, uh, get a feel for the target. Excellent, give them a couple of rounds, keep going. There you go. One of the things that I'd like to say is I'm amazed at the similarities of our shooting position. If you look at, this man helped pioneer modern combat shooting, modern reactive instinctive shooting. And if you look, as soon as he was ready to aim in, his knees bent, he immediately dropped his center of gravity. His arms, his arms were out, um, not really doing a, a typical weaver. What are your thoughts on modern training tools like the marathon targets, the robots, modern equipment, modern training standards? Well, I think the weapons are pretty much the same. Very similar, yeah. Uh, but I, one of the problems has always been uh, more p people that are doing the training are more concerned about safety than they are about the ability to hit a target. Right, agreed. And the idea of trying to uh, learn to shoot a moving target after you spend all of your time learning how to shoot Shooting it, paper. Paper <laughs> uh, with a, a clearly defined target. Uh, I find that the, the concept of instinctive shooting Absolutely. is really far more efficient in terms of saving lives and killing the right guys. Absolutely, 100%. Uh, and so uh, I, I, even though I was not involved in special operations, when I commanded a, uh, an infantry battalion in the Korean War, I found that by teaching them instinctive shooting at pop-up targets uh, completely changed the attitude of the battalion. Yeah. They just were no longer afraid to go out on a, on a, on a patrol. patrol. It gives them a sense of urgency, and now we have robots that can charge at you, <laughs> move, flank That's, you. It's just incredible. I just. I'm sorry that I'm not younger, so I <laughs> take advantage of this with the unit because it would certainly yeah. be a great uh, thing to have something like this for everybody. Yeah, it's it, a it, massive force multiplier. It, it is a force multiplier. Yeah. Excellent. Absolutely. Well, again, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Well, thank you for allowing me to. <laughs> no, thank you for your shoot service. Up your and targets. and uh, <laughs> you're you're one of my forefathers of what I've done. You know, so I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, that's great. Man.